Good morning, beautiful people. Today is Friday. I'm currently under the weather, but I'm getting better. But we were just sitting here talking and I wanna know you guys' opinion. Let me set you guys up on the tissue box. Oh, let me catch my breath, I'm sick. Uh, I was gonna talk about Sunday, but we just started having this conversation and so first thing I wanna talk about is the fact that all your favorite YouTube beauty gurus have quit Vlogmas. Not a big deal, they do it every year. But this year, they did it after like a week. And you know, some of them are living life and enjoying family and friends and loved ones and you know, it's life. But there's a couple of them that it just looks like they stopped so that they could push out all this sponsored content on their Instagram. And I wanna know how you guys feel. This is how I feel about it. I understand that all these various social media platforms should be used if you would choose to do so to make money. I don't think I've ever had any sponsored content on Instagram as far as getting paid to post. But as far as my YouTube channel, I have. But I've also always told you guys that I'm gonna tell you if something does not work for me or not. I am using out a product right now that I will be having a sponsored video in January um, and I'm actually using it for 30 days. <laughs> I would show you but um, I'll just let you guys wait until January but I'm actually using the product. Like I'm not just posing with a picture of it and not using the product. And I think you guys know by now that whether or not I like something, I'm gonna give you my opinion. It might work for me and it might not work for you and vice versa. When I look at someone's Instagram page and all they have is ads, well number one, I don't follow people like that. I just, let me know how you guys feel. I just feel like Instagram versus YouTube. Instagram is more personal and when I follow someone on Instagram, I want to get to know more about them. I don't want to see an ad. Like it's December 20th right now and this person has has put up I think 18 ads back to back to back to back to back to back to back. And I get it, make your money, but how does that make you guys feel as the consumer? Also, um, and I talk about this with people all the time, how many followers or subscribers you have does not matter. What matters is the engagement. What matters is that if I show a product to my 18,000 or however many um, subscribers I have on YouTube, how many of you guys are actually gonna buy it versus someone who has hundreds of thousands of subscribers but nobody trusts their opinion? Just, um, what was this, maybe a few weeks ago I was talking with some companies um, because I wanna start doing a new segment on my channel in the new year. I'm gonna do the segment. But they basically told me, you don't have enough followers. And I'm like, well this is interesting because the this type of video that I do, when I do it, I get 10 plus, 10,000 plus views versus someone else who has maybe five times as many subscribers, they're not getting the views or the engagement. And so that's why I kind of want you guys to just look at when you're seeing these really big influencers and YouTubers, they might have a lot of subscribers, but is that subscriber audience translating into sales for whatever they're selling? Do people trust your opinion? I don't know. I just think that type of engagement means more to me than just shoving a product in your face and saying buy it because it's great and I'm reading from a script. Like, no. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that when I do sponsor content, I always bring to you my 100% honest opinion and I will not work with a brand that tells me what to say. I signed a few contracts this month and you know, certain brands will have things for you not to say as far as claims or anything like that, but I'm not ever gonna be reading a script because if it's supposed to be my experience, how can I read from a script? So, I don't know. While I finish drinking my tea and eating my soup, let me know how you guys feel about tons of sponsored content. Do you guys just overlook it? Do you feel bombarded? Do you feel like you're just used as a number? Because that's how I feel and I don't follow people on Instagram who every single post is sponsored because that's what YouTube is for. 
but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel. I just, it doesn't feel genuine to me. And I think even when you do sponsor content, it should either be something that you like, that you want to like or want to try out. But at the end of the day, it should be genuine. And I don't know. It was just really interesting. Like we've only had 20 days this month and you've had 19 sponsored posts in a row. Some food for thought. So let me know down in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on that. Maybe I am the only one who thinks like this. Could be. But let me know what you think about that and I will see you guys in two days to finish this vlog. I need to finish getting rid of this cold. So yeah, excuse, excuse all this. But you guys get it. I get sick every vlog. You guys, I'm so hot. <sighs> Happy Sunday. Oh. So I haven't worked out at the gym in almost a week because I'm getting over a cold. So this workout is 10 times harder today, but I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna do some jumping jacks use my kettlebell and do um, some more jumping rope. But it is hard when you can barely breathe. <laughs> but this is how committed I am. And I didn't go to the gym today because it's raining and when it rains, I just don't feel like being out and about if I can help it. So I'm gonna finish this little workout, but this is just to show you guys when you're recovering from a cold and you don't feel well and it's cold and rainy outside, you can still get your workout in. Isn't that right, Muffin? So, I'm gonna finish this workout. I'm not at full breathing capacity, but I'm getting it done. I will see you guys after the workout and shower. Thank you, Miss Grace, for your lovely accompaniment this morning. That was beautiful. For all of you guys who love seeing Chloe, Say hi. See you guys later. Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. I'm gonna need you to ignore this situation over there. You guys know this is like my beauty room slash second closet slash storage slash I need to get this room together but I just it's not that big of a priority for me. So the candle we are burning today is Bath and Body Works Ballerina Rose. It smells amazing if you love rose, fresh cut roses. It literally smells like fresh cut roses. So that's burning today. I'm drinking my morning tea. I'm trying to recover from my cold. I'm actually recovering nicely. Um, I think what happened was, so if you guys haven't realized, um, a lot of my videos were pre-filmed just for Vlogmas, just so that I could have a little flexibility with my month and not be stressed out. Um, I just feel like that's the smartest way to do things and luckily I did it that way because I actually got sick this week. If you've been watching Vlogmas for a few years, you know that every year right before Christmas I get sick. <laughs> um, I just, that's my immune system. I haven't even been like out and about with more germs than usual. It's just, yeah, 
that's just how my life is set up but I'm feeling okay now I'm getting ready to go out with one of my friends you guys will see her when we get to our destination but I wanted to chat with you guys first off I wanted to tell you guys some things that have really helped me um, recover from my cold no this is not a sponsored video um, but one thing that I really want to talk about is the CBD oil that you guys know I talked about months ago and I will link that video down below. It's called Calm by Wellness CBD Oil and um, I use it to help me sleep. That's what it really helps me with. But I know people use it for pain management, anxiety, um, nausea. There's a lot of uses for it, but for me it works for it works in helping to relax me to fall asleep. And I don't know about you guys, but when I am sick, it is so hard to fall asleep because you can't breathe, you don't feel well, you just feel icky. And like the toughest time I have is at night. So that CBD oil has really been helping me. And right now on the website, it's actually 30% off. So I'm gonna leave that link down below for you guys. Once again, this is not a sponsored video. But even if it were, I would have the same opinion because I actually do use it and I do love it and I need to purchase some more. So I'll probably be doing that. Um, also my humidifier, which I love as well. I'm going to link that down below. It's actually still running right now. Um, as soon as it gets cold and the air in my house gets really dry, I need to turn on my humidifier because it really just helps with my breathing. And especially when I'm sick, it just helps to open up my nasal passages and make things a little easier. So that's been coming in handy also. And also this supplement that I do take and shout out to my girl Phyllis. She told me about this a few vlogmases ago because she noticed that I am like prone to getting sick. It's called Rapid Immune Boost. I believe it's either in my bathroom or downstairs, but it's a supplement. It doesn't taste great, but I put it in my tea every morning when I feel myself getting sick or when I am sick and it really helps to like help the recovery process be a little smoother so those are three things i would highly highly recommend if you are dealing with any type of sickness or cold or flu i mean it's flu season right now um those are things that really help me there's also some cough drops i will um link it i will put the name down below i can't remember but they're like rapid like soothing and numbing cough drops so if you have a sore throat that's also great um, I had a really bad sore throat this time which I usually never get um, but I'm just happy to be on the mend you guys I'm grateful so grateful that this cold wasn't too bad because being sick around the holiday season is not fun at all um, and because of that this week I was on like a liquid diet because I was drinking soup and so I wasn't bloated, but we're going to talk about that next year. Um, but if I hadn't been drinking what I have been drinking, I would have been so bloated from the salt intake. Uh, you guys know that I don't cook with any salt. So whenever I get sick and I'm drinking soups and eating soups, all that salt just like usually just bloats me right up. Um, but we will talk all about that in 2020 i also want to talk about a conversation i had with someone last night that just blessed my entire life it i how things happened so organically it was just amazing i was watching a video on youtube last night on a certain topic which we'll get into in the new year and then someone dm'd me on instagram and we ended up video chatting and talking about all things but um, I just really love this person and I'm gonna link her website down below her name is Kendra and she just she just blessed my spirit like when I, certain times I connect with people and right away I can tell I'm going to love this person it's their energy it's just everything about them it's just like you know you just get happy and that's how I feel about this person um, so shout out to you girl if you are watching um la that last night was just all the validation that i needed for this new year and what i'm about to embark on in my personal life career wise um with my channel and everything like that so if you are a small business owner or even if you have a larger business if you are an influencer a blogger an instagrammer if you have a youtube channel if you're a content creator um, check out her website. She offers a plethora of services 
sis. And when I tell you she's the truth, she is the truth. So um, definitely check her out. There's just certain people, like I said, when I meet them, well, we've never technically met, but <laughs> when, I, when I'm introduced to them, I just get like a good feeling about them as a person. And that's how I feel about her. So once again, if that sounds like something that would interest you, definitely check her um, her website out and her Instagram. I will link it down below. I've enrolled in a course that she is giving and I cannot wait for all the amazing fruitful information she is going to give. It is just going to be a blessing to my life and our conversation last night that I think went on for like hours and hours. I realized that I'm literally selling myself short. So in the new year, I'm warning you guys now, you will see some changes to my channel and these changes are due to me really stepping up to my full potential and getting what is mine and what i deserve um the content will shift a bit it shifts every year i feel like your platforms should grow with you and you know i decided this year that um, I wanted to stop making certain content. We're adding to that list for the new year. And it's just because certain things that I don't wish to share and certain things that aren't fulfilling to me anymore. So I'm sure you guys will see those changes as they roll out. But um, just know that I will always remain this girl that comes to you in her robe with her candle, um, recovering from a cold shooting the shit with you guys just being real and um when i'm recommending something to you guys it's truly because i believe in it um and that's one thing that i really pride myself on um, and i'm truly excited i'm very happy and optimistic about this and hearing her talk to me and what she was saying it just validated everything like it was divine it was meant to be and um i was truly appreciative of our talk last night so definitely check her out and stay tuned to what is new to come on my channel also last time i did this kind of get ready talk with me thing meet you guys um were asking what i use for my brows this is anastasia beverly hills dip brow this is what the packaging looks like because i'm almost out um, this is a brand new one and it is in the color dark brown. It's a gel pomade and when you start out with eyebrows like myself when they're kind of sparse it is good to use a gel product because it like keeps your brows intact it lays them down and it looks like natural at least to me. So I really do love this um this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. Like you guys know, over the years, I've tried different products. I've been sent the Kat Von D Brow Pomade. Didn't like it. It was okay, but it just wasn't like the Anastasia one. That's an example of sometimes I'm sent things. I'm glad and appreciative of receiving them, but I'm gonna tell you guys if I don't like it. But the beauty in that is that just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you, so so we are going out today for lunch i'm trying to get in like all of my friend time before the year is up i just think it's really important to um be able to see the people you care about um before the new year you never know where life is going to take you and if there's not one thing i learned this year it's cherish the time you have with people while you have it because <sighs> You never know what's going to happen. So I'm going to finish getting ready. I just wanted to have that chit chat with you guys. My nose is starting to run. It might be this candle. I hope I'm not allergic because I am allergic to Sun Bath and Body Works candles. But yeah, I will show you guys my finished makeup look and my outfit. But let me continue to get ready and clear the situation. I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, I just quickly wanted to show you guys my makeup. I actually did a little bit of eyeshadow, you guys. Um, I used my Master Palette by Mario, and I did Isabel in the Crease, which is this brown neutral there. Ugh, I feel my nose running. And I used Kim, which is right here, um, on my lid.
It's definitely not a striking makeup look, but sometimes I just feel like I want to do some makeup. And my nose is running. Ugh. I just wanted to share with you guys the uh, fragrance that I'll be wearing. I know it was requested in one of my outfit of the days that I start sharing this with you, and I will gladly do so. If you guys missed my outfit of the days uh, that I did during Vlogmas, definitely check them out. They're the series of videos right before these vlogs started. <sighs> Your girl has been loving getting dressed lately, so definitely check them out. So the scent that I'm wearing today is Layered First Kiss Exclusive. This is what it looks like. I will link it down below. Once again, this is not a sponsored video at all. Be Layered has sponsored videos for me in the past. I believe one video. But this is not a sponsored post at all. This is just how much I love these scents. So this one is called, <clears throat> excuse me, First Kiss Exclusive. And this is a dupe for Parfum de Marly uh, Delina Exclusive, I believe. And you guys, I love this scent. It's light. It's beautiful. It's sweet. Um, let me spray this on my decolletage. Um, it's an eau de parfum. Ooh, I think I got it in my mouth. Now my robe is going to smell beautiful. I love this. Um, I also wore one last night to bed. And what is that called? I took a picture of it. Okay, that one's like a fresh green scent. And I didn't share that one um, in that video that I did, which I will also link down below cold is kicking my butt so this one is called enchanted garden and it smells very green and fresh a little bit of floral notes in it but it's beautiful it's perfect for going to sleep or running errands doing something very light um i love that scent so much so this one once again is called first kiss exclusive i love enchanted garden and my number one favorite is f me you can fill in the rest of the words um this one is just heavenly this one oh darling oh you know a scent is good when you smell it and it just like mm, just all the feels so yeah i just wanted to share with you guys what i'm wearing today i realized that i forgot to put on blush <laughs> the blush that i'm also wearing today is called angelica I like it. It gives a pretty flush of color and my outfit is going to be pretty neutral. So let me go ahead and get dressed and I will show you guys the finished look. Okay, so I'm dressed. Just wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing the same top that I had on in a couple of vlogs ago. It was one where the house flooded. Um, but I'm not wearing like a cami under it. So it looks kind of see-through. I have on my black seven jeans ultra high rise skinny legging but these are like it's more than a legging they're very thick it's like a ponty knit if that's how you pronounce it there's a seam down the middle i have pockets in the back it's like a pant but it just slims you it looks amazing um and then i just have this little vest on because i went through like three outfit changes um, but this is what I settled on and I like it. It's comfy, it's cute, it's casual. And then I have on Pat McGrath Elson. It's red lip season. We have to be seasoned. Um, so this is what the outfit looks like. It's a little see-through, so I'm glad I have this. Um, but <sighs> love these pants. And then let me show you my shoes. And my shoes don't match my bag. <laughs> um, these are my favorite little black booties. I got these like five years ago probably. These are by Guess. Um, it's reminiscent of a Valentino rock stud booty. This has gold hardware. I'm wearing my YSL Lulu which has silver hardware but I don't care. <laughs> um, I am just, you know, it is what it is. So, yes. I'm gonna get in the car. So excited, you guys. But yeah, this is my whole outfit. Super casual, comfy, but it still looks chic. I could have totally belted this, but I don't really have belts like that. So yeah, let's get going. Your girl is hungry. Okay, so we're in traffic. Um, I hate driving on the highway when it rains here. I 
feel like the highway always floods. One time I was driving and I saw a car hydroplane flip over and hit like the side, the bottom of like a bridge. It's just a lot. But I gave myself plenty of time. Um, but we are going to this place called, I believe it's called a Sair Cigar Bar. I'm really excited. So if you guys didn't know, I like to indulge in the occasional cigar. I know, I know, I know. People are gonna say, it's not healthy. Why are you doing that? Look, you guys, the way I look at life is I can't be perfect. I do what I can. I stopped smoking hookah regularly because my parents and everybody was like, it's so bad, you don't know what's in it. So I stopped. And occasionally I will have a nice premium cigar. Now, the cigars I like are expensive. So I'm not having one even once a week. But you know, every now and then it's like a nice thing to indulge in. So the friend that I'm actually going with, she introduced me to cigars. Um, I would always see her smoking them and I was like, hmm, I wanna try one. So she told me about the brand, Ooh, what's it called? Oh, I'm drawing a blank. I'll put it across the screen. But these are the best flavored cigars ever. Like, it tastes amazing. And I've had like premium cigars from Dominican Republic and it's totally different than a flavored cigar. And these are like flavor infused. So it's just so nice. It's so relaxing. It's a whole vibe. Um, yeah, it's not something. I think, I think it's been probably over a month since I've had a cigar. So it's not something that I do too often. Uh, but she's always trying to get me to go out to a cigar bar. So that is where we are going. I'm really just happy to eat. I'm starving. I'm, I'm really hungry actually. <laughs> and I already know what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat wings and I might get something else. But you guys know wings are like my fun keto meal. And shout out to my girl Natalie because she actually sent me a um, an air fryer for Christmas. And I'm super excited to start air frying food next year. Like wings, salmon, chicken, fish, steak. My friend said you can even like hard boil eggs in them. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so I'm gonna stay on track today as far as eating. Possibly. I might have some fries. I don't know. I'm not gonna be too strict on myself. I have been able to maintain my weight Through this holiday season, so I'm not worried about it um, I think the most important thing for me is that I enjoy myself And I don't want to be at a function and I'm pissed off because I can't have cookies or You know a holiday festive beverage, you know, I just feel like you should be able to enjoy yourself And that's why I'm continuing to work out that is what really holds me accountable. And in January, I can start fresh and everything will be great. Okay, we are here. I have a headache, I think because I'm hungry. It's called a Sair Cigar. Dress code, keep it classy, up to management, smoking rules, no cigarettes, no vaping, no black and mild, and no drugs. <laughs> well, all right then <laughs> that clarifies things <laughs> oh man I I think I'm like so hungry that I have a headache last night I was in bed and I really wanted to go to McDonald's this is just an honest moment with you guys um it probably looks like I'm just like super successful in my weight loss I mean I'm successful to a degree um, I have cravings. I want Taco Bell sometimes. I want McDonald's. I want Chick-fil-A. And last night I wanted to go get a cheeseburger. But I told myself, no, I'm going to be good. It's like at night. That's when I get the hungriest. <sighs> Weight loss is not easy at all. Um, but I will say if it's something that you really want, stick with it. Like, that's just the bottom line. And when you start seeing the results, it's gonna motivate you even more to stick with it. But it's not easy. Like some days I'm just like, I wanna go get a burger or I wanna go get some cookies. 
Okay, I'm already messing up this jacket. You probably can't see, but I got makeup on it. Um, I will pick back up the camera once we are inside. I'm a little early. Fun fact about me, I'm really OCD with time. And I'm almost early. I'm always early. I'm about 30 minutes early. <laughs> It's called Layered First Kiss Exclusive. It's it's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Thank you. This is the menu, guys. Look how cute it is in here. I think I'm hooked. Oh, I love this. This is like so chill. Like this is my vibe. Hmm. We might have to open a cigar for a new house. Most people that I follow, it's like one day you're doing this, mm -hmm. the next day you're doing you're just like whatever mm -hmm. way is thinking. And I'm just like, you know what? I just do it because it's fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> this gonna run so me. yes, I can tell. So I got meatballs. Do you mind being on the vlog? I don't. This is my friend. Oh wait, it's blurry. You guys are probably subscribed to her. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I'll link her channel down below just in case she I'm revives it. Older sister. Yes, I love her. We kind of look like we could be related too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she got fried green tomatoes. Oh, thank you. Oh, yum. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yes. <laughs> thank you. And I got meatballs and wings with ranch because y'all know I love ranch. So yeah. And the cocktail is called what? Ooh. So that was Blue's Clues. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember that. But the it, window? No, I got the other one. I don't know, but it's really good. You guys should come here. It's a Cuban inspired menu and it's amazing. We're having a great time. It's very festive. I love it. There right now, I have a pollo that I go with. That's amazing. I'm a cigar snob. I am too. What do you smoke? I am a Drew Estate. Yeah. See, oh, I, I heard you talk what, about that. Drew Estate, I'm what telling do I you. We smoke all the time. Here you go. Let's 252 or 9? 9. I don't even know what y'all talking yeah. about. I'm a 9. I'm a velvet. She's she a novice. Yeah, I know. She, she, she <laughs> no, no, no. Cuba, Cuba. Cuba, Cuba. Uh, yeah. Can't believe I like an old fashioned. That is very good. Now, what's this so I can make it at home? Mm -hmm. Flying pig. A flying pig. Pork I belly. Nice little festive drink. That's actually good. Like, it is good. You didn't answer my question about what's in it. So I can bring it up. I'm look it up. I've definitely heard of it. I think it's my brother's jersey. I taste orange. Yeah. <laughs> she won't show your face. Right? I, don't worry, you're not in it. But they're gonna come here. She, she, got, she, she has, has a, a lot of followers. followers. Yeah, they're coming. She got like 20,000 followers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let me find out you're a little celebrity. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> can I have some more? Oh, thank uh, you. Ready, you ready yeah, I'm ready. No, you can continue. Oh, so you can continue. Yeah, I, I, I already started. All right, all right. So we're toasting the so we're bottom. Toasting. And then what we're going to do is have some pretty toast. we we'll pass it to you. If you want to pop, I'm going to light again. There you go. There you go. You might inhale, though. I know. <laughs> we don't want to die. Mm, thank you. Oh, she's good. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's 
my love language. <laughs> show you guys her Christmas ornament if you've been watching vlogmas for a few years you know that I get her an ornament every year because my mom did this for me <laughs> and this is her ornament it looks just like her <laughs> yes I am that dog mom but that's my little baby huh that's mama's little baby oh. and I also wanted to show you guys these flowers that I got from my BFF. Oh man, the lighting is so bad. But aren't these flowers gorgeous, you guys? I'm still trying to decide where to keep them because this box is huge. But these are the Eternal Roses. Chloe loves them. If you didn't know, she likes roses. Um, so they last a whole year. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, and they smell so good. <laughs> so... That was my Christmas gift. It is just like so beautiful. And I can't believe they're like real roses. They're so pretty. So yeah, that's the brand. Eternal Flower or Floor. Don't bother them, Muffin. <laughs> she loves flowers. It's So yeah, she's super excited. <sighs> but I wanted to end the vlog um my camera she does not like being on camera my uh, uh get down my camera died at the um cigar bar but i just wanted to end the vlog i want to thank you guys for supporting me and my channel this month um i think vlogmas was still fun like it was a nice mix of content. I tried to do fashion, beauty, luxury vlogs, a couple of gift guides, and one health content video. So I tried to have something for everything and I think it was like an accurate depiction of all the content that I put on my channel. So yeah, thank you guys for your support. I think it was so much fun. Um, am I gonna do vlogs next year? Honestly, I don't know. You guys know that I really am not into vlogging and sharing my life anymore. Um, but we'll see. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's also just kind of nice sometimes when you can enjoy 
certain moments and experiences and not feel so compelled to pick up the camera. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. But I really had a great time during Vlogmas this year. It was stress-free. It was fun. I enjoy interacting with you guys every day. Um, it's really been one of the highlights of my holiday season. So thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for commenting and sharing in this time of year with me. It was very fun. So yeah, I'm gonna go and this video will wrap up Vlogmas 2019. Uh, I will have more content this month so you will get a few more videos. But I'm so excited for my channel next year. I have so many new things I wanna bring to my channel, new content, and I just feel like it's gonna be an amazing year. So once again, thank you guys for all your support. It really means a lot to me. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.